Welcome to Winter 2022 Highline College Business 218 Advanced Excel Spreadsheet Construction Class. This is the class where we get to learn Excel and Power BI to make business calculations and do data analysis. Now, I've already sent out the introductory letter. This is the introductory video. Now, if you're in this class, you pretty much already know how we're going to run things in this class because you were in Business 216. In that class, we learned about Windows Explorer, Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and Access. And the structure of Business 218, this class is the same as Business 216. And that means you don't have to buy an expensive textbook or access code to some website. I built all of the stuff for this class, made the videos, made all the files that you download, and the PDF notes that summarize in written and pictorial form everything in the video. And the good news is, in Business 216, we learned the rock-solid foundation of Excel. And the first three weeks, week one, two, and three, we're going to review all the videos about Excel from Business 216. The layout of this People website should look familiar. Under each yellow week, the blue right here, that's the title of a new video. Video link that jumps you over to Excel. And just to remind you, when I click on this link, you, of course, watch the video at YouTube. And then later, when you're doing a test or you're in your job and you need to remind yourself, the Show More button, when you click this, it has a time hyperlink table of contents. So if your job requires that you use cell styles, you're like, I don't remember how to do that. You just click on this link and it jumps exactly to that point in the video. Now I'm going to click the Back button. You always download the Excel files or Power BI desktop files or later CSV data files. You download them before you watch the video, and then you watch the video. Video shows you how to complete those files for practice. And then there's the PDF notes when you click on it. It's a summary of everything from the video. Now after week three, week four, week five and six, this is our main area where we study data analysis using Excel and Power BI. And then week 7 and weeks 8 to 10, lots of awesome advanced Excel topics. Now let me jump to the top of this website using the Home key. Now that's a tour of our People website. We also have a Canvas component to this class, so we'll go look at that. Announcements, this is where I'll make announcements. Discussions, this is where you can post questions that are not about tests or quizzes. If I click on this, to post a question, you click down in Reply. And be sure if it's a question about a video to post the minute mark. And if it's a question about an Excel file or Power BI desk file, be sure to attach the file. If you have a question about a test or quiz, don't post it here. You just send me an email directly. Now over in the grade section, you can look at your scores here, whatever the score is for a particular assignment, and the home area. For each week, there will be a test upload link and a quiz link here, another test upload link and a quiz link. And if you scroll down, it's exactly like we looked over on our website. There's week four and week five and six. Now, I'll email out the test for you on Tuesdays. You have 24 hours until Wednesday to complete it and upload it to this link. Quizzes you can take at any time during the class. Now, let's go back to our People website. Now, here's the link for the syllabus. And there's no link for the introductory video yet because I'm filming it right now. But I'll have one there soon. The syllabus, you want to read this carefully because this is our legal agreement for the class. But we want to look at four things from the syllabus. So I'm going to click this. The table of contents at the top. You can click any part, for example, Schedule, and it jumps you right to that part. Click the Home key. The first part we want to look at is Instructor Information. I have office student hours on Tuesday and Thursday here on campus, 12 to 2. 
either in my office, 29307, or right across the hall, 29308, which is a computer lab. If you want an arranged meeting and you can't come to Tuesday and Thursday, just send me an email. And I can meet by phone, email, or in person. Now the computer requirements for this class are almost exactly the same as Business 216. The main requirement is that you have a Windows-based PC computer with Microsoft Excel 2016 or later. Most of you will have Microsoft 365 Excel because Highline gives it to students for free. And you should have a standard keyboard. Now if you don't have this set up, you can do three things. You can work in the computer lab in Building 30 on campus. You can check out a computer from Highline for the quarter. And if you have your own computer and all you need is Microsoft 365 Office with Excel, Highline will give it to you for free using this link. Now, different than Business 216 in this class, you're going to need to get Microsoft Power BI Desktop. Luckily, this is a free download, and we'll do it later in the quarter together. Also, you'll need a Microsoft Power BI Pro license to access the online website. And you will automatically be assigned a Microsoft Power BI Pro license by Highline that you'll get to use in this class. Now, there's a few other requirements, too. You'll read through that. As far as the keyboard goes, you want to try and use a standard keyboard with the number pad, navigation keys, and F keys. As you remember from Business 216, when you're doing analysis and calculations in Excel, having all the keys makes everything much easier. Now, many of us have laptops, including myself, and sometimes we don't get the luxury of a standard keyboard. Now, if you're checking out a computer from Highline, you can ask them, hey, give me a plug-in standard keyboard for the laptop. But if you have to use a laptop, you have to realize that there's an FN or FX key down on the lower left side. And you have to press that to access the F keys. Now let's scroll down. Now the tests and quizzes will be similar to Business 216. The tests will be in Excel or Power BI Desktop. But for this class, the test will be emailed out on Tuesday at noon and must be uploaded to Canvas test upload link before Wednesday at noon. That means you have 24 hours to complete the test. For quizzes, you can do the quizzes at any point during the class. But if you're studying week one and there's a quiz, you should just take the quiz right after you study the stuff for week one. Now grading, here's the grading scale I use. And just be careful, Canvas gradebook is not correct. The scores for each assignment in Canvas are totally correct. So that 85 out of 100, that's correct. But the percentage scores are calculated for completed work only. So if you look at Canvas at the end of the class, and it says your percentage grade is 85%, but you're missing assignments, that percentage score is completely wrong. So believe the scores in Canvas, but not the percentages. Now the last topic is our schedule. So for each period, there'll be the week, the topic we're studying, the number of videos, and whether or not there's a test or quiz. What? No test or quiz for week one? Well, that's because you have the whole week to study. And then the following week, test one will be sent out on Tuesday. And then the quiz is listed here also. Week three, there's the dates, topic, and videos. But the test and quiz, that's covering content from the previous week. Now you have to read this carefully because the dates aren't always just one week. Here there's two weeks. Here there's one week. Here there are three weeks. All right, I'm going to use Alt Arrow to jump to the previous page in a web browser. And that was your introduction to Business 218 for winter 2022. All right, we're going to have lots of fun with Excel and Power BI. We'll see you next video.